Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a Lego City Police Station cake at the request of my youngest. To start with we need to make a Lego texture mat. Take a Lego baseboard and make a border around the edge using Lego bricks, then heat up some reusable food grade moulding gel. Pour it in and tip it and spread it until it goes all the way to the edges and then let that cool and set. For the frosting, take one batch of vanilla buttercream and mix it with a cooled batch of milk chocolate ganache. And I'll put all of the recipe quantities for this on the website howtocookthat.net in grams and ounces and cups. And you will also need two trays of chocolate cake baked, cooled and levelled. Place your template on top and cut around the shape of the first building and the template is also available on the website. Place it on a spare cake board or a plate and then add a thin layer of frosting. Then continue to stack up those layers of cake until they match the height of the template for the front of the cake. Then cover that whole building in frosting. Repeat that in the same way for the next two buildings, layering them up, then covering them in frosting. Then place all of those in the fridge for that frosting to chill and firm so that they're a bit more stable. By now your moulding gel should be set. Remove the bricks from the edge and then just peel it off the baseboard and now you have a nice Lego texture mat. Place some light grey fondant over a cake board and roll it out fairly thinly. Then add the texture mat over the top and using the rolling pin press down firmly all over the surface. Then simply peel it off. Take a knife and trim around the edges of your board and we now have our Lego baseboard. Take some more light grey fondant and use the texture mat to make an impression. Then using a pizza cutter, cut out a 7x8 rectangle. Then cut out a section from the top of that and the base to make the letter for the helipad. Then use the side of your knife just to straighten up the sides because Lego doesn't bend. Roll out some black and put the texture mat over the top. Then using the shapes that you used for the cake, cut out one of those for the top of each building, making them a little larger to allow for the frosting and the fondant on the sides. And repeat that process to make some green two by tens and we'll use them for grass. And again, just use your knife to make sure they're straight on the edges. Roll out some yellow and gray fondant, rub a little water on the yellow and add the gray to the top. Slice it into little pieces, the size of a two by one, and these will be the lights for around the top of the building. Now let's make the windows for the police office building. Roll out some white and cut it out using the template. Now remember that you'll need to do the front, one side and the back as well. I've just got the front and one side here. And mark off the centre line with a slight indent and add a vertical line too. Using a dry brush, add some gold luster dust in each window in the bottom right hand corner and then brush blue over the top of the whole thing. Add some stripes of white across the base of each window and you'll need to dampen the back of this fondant to make it stick and then trim it to size. Cut a strip of blue and place it across the top of each window. Then place a strip of blue up between each window and along the edges. Now for the prison. Cut out some black fondant and brush it with a little silver luster dust. Then rub a little water across to dampen that fondant. Roll a snake of light grey and place it across using your template as a guide for where to put those bars. Add them on the bottom windows, then going down the centre of each window, then add strips of grey down and strips of grey across. Cut a strip of white and add that across the top and then another one along the bottom of the jail cell. Then add a thinner strip down each side on two of the jail sides only, don't do it on all four of them. For the garage door, cut a square of white, then make your indents across and down. Brush it over with blue luster dust and add a strip of white across the top. Roll out some blue using the Lego on the sides to guide you how thick it needs to be. And then cut some strips the width of a two block. Roll out some thin strips of white and add them to the top of the front fondant police station part. To the other smaller front bit, add a strip to one side and a half a strip to the other and leave the last one plain. Using edible white food colouring, write the word police down the front of your blue support. And for the police sign, cut a square of white and put two blue strips across the top. 
All of these fondant details can be made up to a month ahead, which will give them time to dry out. If you need to make them for a cake today or tomorrow, then you'll need to add some Tylo's powder to the fondant, which will make it dry out faster. Add the cakes for the police station onto the cake board and then add the two smaller pieces followed by the front one. Now put a strip of white along the corner there using a little water to hold it in place. Add the side and then the back of the station and then add your black roof on top, then a strip of white to cover that join. For the jail, add the piece that has the white sides followed by the one that doesn't and repeat that with the other two and then add strips of white on the two sides that need it. Then add your black roof on top. Choose the best side of the jail and put that in place next to the police station. Cover the whole garage piece in white fondant and then add the door to the front and the roof to the top. Then add a strip of blue along the edges and add it into place. Use your fondant grass piece out the front and then use some spaghetti to support the lights while they set. Just use a little bit of water on the back of the fondant to join it onto the cake. Add the front of the station and again you might need to use a little bit of spaghetti to support it while it's drying out and joining on and then you can remove that spaghetti later. Use an edible marker to write the word police on the police sign and add it to the top of the jail. Add some strips of blue and the helipad to the top of the police station and the cylinder of white and red. The next day remove that spaghetti, add a Lego police car and a robber and policeman out the front and your Lego city cake is complete. If you have a helicopter you can also add that on the helipad too. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here to go to the channel for more crazy sweet creations and here to go to the website to get the recipes. Have a great week and I'll see you all on Friday. Yeah.